how do you discern a vi dis discern from a victim's narrative from actual racism and discrimination um, within communities? That's a great question. That's a fantastic question, by the way. And one of the things I want to share, though, before I answer that is that brings up a really good point. If everything is racist, nothing is racist. <laughs> and that's that's something that I think is happening right now. Everything is being called racist by the left. And it's like, well, if everything's racist, then what is racist? And more importantly, how do we actually identify the real races, you know, in America? Because there are still real races out there. I'm not at all, you know, blind to that. There are people out there who are racist. But I will say this, I do believe racism can exist on all sides, every culture, black, white, everybody. It's not just one culture. Um, but more importantly, I think that's the question that we all have to ask, like, what is real racism? You know, how can we define that? To me, real racism is still when somebody continues to say, if they're saying derogatory remarks and downing you and treating you as if you're less than because of your race, that's real racism, you know? But challenging someone, challenging a black person to get a, a, a driver's license or an ID card to vote, it's not racism, <laughs> you know? That's not racism. That's you basically saying that you think I'm too dumb to be able to get an ID. Like the Democrats are fighting against that calling it racism, so you think I'm stupid? Like, I don't have the ability to walk into a DMV and get an ID. Like, we need to look at it from that standpoint, really. Like, who's the real racist, <laughs> you know? So I think, I think we have to be careful, and really the left needs to start being more careful what they define as racism, because everything is not racism. Thanks so much for watching this video. To watch our latest video, click here. And to make sure you don't miss any future videos, be sure to subscribe.